guys welcome back if you're new welcome thank you for stopping by to check out my video so you guys today we having another little makeup playtime situation because I have this cute little basket of goodies here of stuff that I want to try out today you know how I do when I sit down and do my chit chats I'm usually trying out some new stuff so that's what I'm doing today and I'm kind of I'm really excited but then I'm kind of like not excited because the palette that I'm using today is my new P Louise the secret center palette and so this is the box that it comes in you guys this is what this fancy schmancy little palette looks like y'all this palette is like straight up boudoir you know you want to sit down and get sexy and and look cute okay it comes in this cute little box it has this nice beautiful writing on the back with you know just information about the palette and all that good stuff it even has this little seal over here and I have been wanting this palette like forever you guys and honestly I was just being cheap y'all know how I feel about shipping I'll be like uh-uh you want what for shipping no honey child honey child no I'm not paying that for shipping but <laughs> I wanted this palette so bad you guys I just went ahead and broke down and bought it I mean, it's like, how could you not want this palette? Look at it. It reminds me of like one of those really pretty music boxes, you know, that you wind up and it plays music. But this is what this gorgeous palette looks like on the outside. As you can see, there's feathers in the cover. Okay, it's gold. It is beautiful. And to me, it just says boudoir you know it just says girl sit down and put your makeup on so let me show you okay this is how this cute little palette opens and look do you see the colors okay do you see i'm gonna try not to blind you guys with the mirror but let me do this without dropping it okay now it does it opens up like you know like a cute little box has a little string to hold it and as you can see there on the mirror it has I'm sorry you guys let me just go ahead and show you because it's, it's gonna get crazy but if you see there on the mirror it says P Louise let me see if I can yeah excuse my light for a minute okay it says P Louise on the mirror and it has like a gold around the mirror it's so freaking pretty you guys look at that and then look at the colors in here first of all look at how big this palette is okay this palette is big it's like it looks like a little vanity in itself okay but let me show you these colors up close if i can so this is what these colors look like in this palette okay so freaking pretty and they're supposed to be extremely pigmented extremely bomb and i'm super excited to use it i mean I'm not happy about the fact that there's no black and there's no white in here. I don't really like that because, you know, it would give me a lot more range. But I guess these are the colors that they felt were needed in this palette. So this is all you get. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I think they're gorgeous. So clearly today I'm going to have to do something colorful using this palette. And like I said, I, I'm really excited to use it. I wasn't going to use it at all. I was just going to use this as like a showpiece because it's gorgeous. But we're going to use this mug today, okay? Now, let me just run through some of the other items that I want to use today. I have here, or first of all, this Wet n Wild 3-in-1 Rose Primer Water. Wet n Wild has come out with a lot of new products recently. And when I was in the drugstore, just kind of perusing, I wasn't really shopping for much. <laughs> but I wanted to go ahead and try this out. You guys know I love sprays for my face, primer water, setting sprays, rose water, all that stuff. So I wanted to go ahead and try this one out. I thought it was really cute. And I said, you know what, a 3-in-1, I can prime with it, set with it, refresh, all of that good stuff. So... This is one of the new items I'm going to be using today. Um, I also have 
this is not really new i got this in my subscription box this is the touch and soul no problem primer and i've used this a few times since i've gotten it so i'm still kind of working this out so that's one of the newer items that i'm using uh as far as foundation goes you guys know if you watched my last stuffs video <laughs> that i did purchase this beauty blender bounce foundation so i'm going to be testing this out today and you guys will see how i like it if it's a color match all that good stuff but i'm using that today kind of excited about that also <laughs> now look my girl lily has been working my last nerve okay that's why i love her she been working my nerve talking about kk did you use the pretty vulgar powder that we got in the boxy chart well actually i got it I don't think she got it. <laughs> you know what? She didn't get it because she wouldn't be asking me about it. So yeah, the Pretty Vulgar Powder, she has been dying to know. She probably don't bought it by now, but I'm going to try this out. The only reason why I haven't tried out the Pretty Vulgar, and look at the packaging, you guys. It's cute, huh? But the only reason why I haven't tried out this powder is because I have 50 other powders open. And you know, sometimes you don't like to open 100 different things at once. So that's why I haven't tried it, but I'm going to try it today and see if I like it, okay? Um, also from Wet n Wild, I have a new bronzer to try. Now, y'all, I know I said I wouldn't buy no bronzer, I wouldn't buy no blush and all that stuff, but it was only like $5 or something like that. You know, Wet n Wild, it was real cheap, inexpensive, okay? So they had some new bronzers out, and I was like, hmm, let me go ahead and check that out and see what's your popping with their bronzers. But this one is called... You know what? I play too much. I play way too much. So this bronzer is called What Shady Beaches. <laughs> what Shady Beaches. Okay, these names, y'all. Anyway, so that is a new bronzer. I have this e.l.f. Modern Metals palette. And I think I swatched it, but I don't think I've actually used this palette yet. I got this, like, a, a haul or two back. <laughs> back when I was still hauling. And I don't think I've used this yet. I wanted to use it ever since I saw DJ try it out. But I want to try it out too. Um, let's see what else do I have. Mascara. I, yeah, I guess I was on a little wet and wild mini drugstore spree. Because <laughs> I wanted to try out one of these uh, new mascaras as well. This one is, I don't know if this is new actually. This one is Mega Length and it's in the color very black but it's in this really cute lavender packaging and y'all know i need some help so we're gonna be trying out the mega length today also one of the new fenty um lipsticks this one is called unlocked i believe there's like all these un lipsticks that she has but this lip paint, I believe, is called Unlocked. Now, with this bright eye look, I don't know if I'm going to be able to try this out either, but this is the one I want to use today. And also, y'all know these little fuzzy sponges that they came out with a while back ago. I tried it one time, and I wasn't sure if it was a sponge I didn't like or if it was the foundation that I didn't like at the time I'm not sure so I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna be trying this today or not just because of the fact that I want to try it with the foundation that I know I like for sure already because then if I don't like it I know it's the sponge you know what I mean like you know if I try with a new foundation I won't know if it's the sponge or if it's the foundation I don't like so I don't think I'm gonna use this today but I definitely want to try it with a foundation that I actually know that I really like so last thing that I want to try today is one of my Stila Magnificent Metal eyeshadows um you know glitter shadows I don't know if I'm going to use this today with this P. Louise palette either because it might get to be a, too, a bit much but if I see where I could fit this in, I'm going to fit this in. So, as you can see, I already have my eyebrows on, okay? Because anybody got time for that. But I do want to start out with this Wet n Wild Primer Rotter 3-in-1 before I prep my lids. Because, you know, I'm going to be spraying this all over my face. Ooh, it smells really nice. It smells like rose. Let me see. Yeah, so it's a it's a pretty nice little spritz. It's not too harsh. Ooh. 
but it does give you a lot though okay it smells good though it smells like nice imitation rose <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead use my mac soft over <laughs> soft ochre soft ochre paint pot prep my eyelids and then we will move forward with this palette okay Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and threw some tape on so that I don't have to worry about trying to be all neat with these colors because, like I said, this video is going to be long already because <laughs> I'm already running my mouth. Anyway, let me go ahead and open this palette back up so I can see what I'm going to start with. Okay, I think I'm going to start with this color here, which is booked. Booked. And y'all, I didn't get none of the P. Louise base because... I think it's like, what, $20 or something like that? And I'm like, I ain't paying $20 for no base when I already got bases that I like. <laughs> so, so let's hope that this works on the bases that I like already, okay? So that color is very nicely pigmented. It's very pretty. Now I'm going to go into this orange shade here. I'm not gonna say the names, you guys, because I don't feel like struggling to see. <laughs> so I'm going into this orange shade here. <laughs> oh, these colors are blended nicely nicely so next I'm going into the yellow shade and place that on the upper portion of my lid now I'm just going back in with a little bit of that orange just to make sure you can see that in between the pink and the yellow but these colors are blending like a dream. <laughs> I mean, my goodness, honestly, I've never experienced blending like this before, I don't think. This is gorgeous. I'm in blend heaven, y'all. <laughs> blend heaven. Now, the yellow is a little bit dusty, a little bit powdery, but as you can see, it's very pigmented, okay? So I think I'm gonna go dark for my lid, you guys. I think I'm gonna go dark. So, should I do the purple or the blue? I think I'm gonna do the purple. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this dark purple shade up here. If you can see that, this dark purple shade, I'm going to do that on my lid. I wonder if I should put some more base down for this. Cause it's not as dark as I anticipated it would be, but the pigment is there. Let me just build it up. These shadows, they just kind of seamlessly, you know, blend with each other. Even before you blend them out, it's like they just go so nicely together, so. So now I'm just gonna take a little bit of that pink on that brush and just try to blend out my crease without getting rid of that purple or that pink. So I'm just trying to keep it where you can see all the colors just nicely transitioning. Watch out. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Well you guys, it doesn't look like I'm using Stila today because I'm really liking this just simple rainbow eye, so I don't think I'm using any Stila today. We'll have to play with Stila another time. <laughs> okay, so I think that's pretty much all I'm going to do for this lid, you guys. I'm going to throw on some black liquid eyeliner. I'm going to use my Wet n Wild liquid eyeliner like I always do, and then I'll come back and we'll jump into the face. Okay, you guys, so now that I have this <laughs> bold eyeliner on with this bold rainbow look, I'm gonna go on with this No Problem Primer. This primer is nice and soft. It's kind of thick and it feels like slick. It's not tacky or sticky, 
but you definitely feel that there's something on your face. It kind of feels like it moisturizes as it primes. I like it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this Bounce Foundation, and I'm in the shade 4.35W, if I'm reading that correctly. So I'm going to use my Beauty, or should I say my Kashuk, Sonia Kashuk sponge, because I don't have a beauty blender, ain't nobody paying $20 for no sponge. So I'm using my Sonia Kashuk sponge <laughs> for this foundation. And I'm gonna apply it and see how it covers. I'm not gonna do any color correcting or anything today. And I just put about this much on my hand. The way that this container is set up, you're supposed to just put it on here and you can take it right off of the container, but I don't know, it's not that serious this morning. <laughs> so I'm just using it on my hand. And it's actually quite thick. I might have got too much. Uh-oh. Always doing too much. So I'm feeling like this is a pretty decent color match. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. So right off top, first impressions, I like this foundation. It's drying down matte, but it's not like super duper matte. You can still see a little sheen on my face, you know, while it's still kind of drying and becoming one with my face. But I feel like the color match is really good for me. It's really matching my chest nicely. I like it and it's the coverage. Y'all see the coverage? Y'all know how much hyperpigmentation and discoloration and black eyes and all that stuff I got. This coverage is sha-poppin'. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> I like it. Ooh, okay. Ow. I don't even wanna put on concealer. I really don't. Oh my gosh, I like it. I do, I like it a lot. I'm impressed. <laughs> I am impressed. So instead of concealing today, I am, well, I just added a little extra foundation around my mouth and under my eyes just to cover up, you know, my problem areas. That's all I'm doing today. I like it, likey, likey. Okay, so powder. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try out this pretty vulgar powder. I don't smell anything. It comes with a cute little puff in here. Of course, I'm not gonna use this today. Not in the mood. But there is a little cover over the powder. So let me open this up and I'm just gonna powder my face. So I'm just gonna use a smaller brush to kind of get up under my eyes first. Since I'm not using concealer today, I just wanna make sure that that foundation under my eyes is nicely set. Very nice, very nice. Now I just use a larger brush to powder the <laughs> larger areas of my face. This powder is very light and airy. It's kind of like you're not putting anything on, but obviously you can see I'm powdering my face, but I don't feel anything. It's very nice. It has a nice little soft scent to it. Nothing strong or crazy. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Lily, the powder is nice, honey. You'll like it. <laughs> you happy now? Okay. It's nice. Okay, so now to hopefully add a little bit of dimension to my face, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Bronzer. And like I said, this is called What Shady Beaches. <laughs> Just to kind of add a little dimension, I guess, since I'm not concealing and whatnot today. I might have to add some contour as well. And this is what she looks like, so. She looks kinda light. I don't know, I think this was the darkest one. Maybe not, but I don't know. She looks kinda light, we finna see. I see it a little bit. 
I see a little shadow. Y'all see it? Yeah, it's very, very light, barely. I'm probably gonna have to do some contour as well. We'll see. Y'all ever just don't feel like doing the most with your face? That's how I feel today. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm sit down and try out 50 products, but I really don't wanna do the most today. <laughs> what kind of sense does that make, right? Yeah, this is so light, I can almost use this as a setting powder. I actually kind of really like the subtleness of it because it's like sometimes I put on bronzer and it's like I just feel like I dipped my head in a vat of, <laughs> of bronze or something. It's just too much, you know, so I kind of like the subtleness of it, actually. What y'all think? Let me know in the comments. Can y'all even see it? Because I can see it subtly. I can see it, but I like it. It's nice. I don't have any new blush to try, so I'm just going to use my Milani Coral Cove blush today, and it's nice and soft. I think it might kind of go well with these colorful eyes. We'll see. <laughs> we shall see. Since I'm not trying to do the most today. Okay, and the highlighter for today is going to come out of this new e.l.f. palette that I have here. And I'm not sure which one to use. Let me go ahead and do some quick swatches. So that's what they look like. They feel a little bit, I don't know, they feel a little dry. They're pretty though, very pretty. Hmm. I could have used this for blush. I could have used one of these. I could have used this one for blush. Duh. <laughs> Whatever. Next time. Okay. I think I'm going to go on with this dark highlighter here and see how that looks. Ooh. Okay. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That highlight is nice. It's nice. It just has like a little sheen to it, and I like that. I like when it just has a little sheen and it's not all glittery. The highlight is actually kind of bright. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's doing much, but ooh, child. It's, it's bright. It is bright. I like it though. It's pretty. So now I'm going to go ahead and finish up the eyes. So I'm going back into the palette, and I want to take this blue, this like navy blue up here, and just kind of smoke out my lower lash line with that. And you guys, I've been using all my new brush sets that I picked up over the last few months. I got some of the Juvia's Place, some Docolor <laughs> brushes, and the BH Cosmetic brushes. Some of them are new to me. Some of them I've already been using and I know I like them, like the Marble set, I love. But I also got some other BH Cosmetic brushes that I have been testing out. And I must say, out of all of the sets, I like them a lot. The Juvia's Place brushes are really, really nice, you guys. Very nice, very soft. I like them. Ooh, that blue. Eh, it kind of looks, I don't know, it's like really, mm, looks like it has a little bit of a greenish blue hint to it, but you know, it's not as bright as I expected it to be. So I think I'm gonna smoke that out with a little bit of the magenta color as well, or maybe some of the purple, I don't know. But it doesn't look like I wanted it to look. I thought it was gonna be a little bit brighter. But it's good to know that this blue kinda has like a really dark, dark um, tint to it because now I know since there's not a black in this palette, I can use this to smoke out my outer corner and it won't be like a bright, bright blue like I thought it was. So that's good. So I'm gonna go into that purple a little bit and hopefully it's not too, too, I don't wanna look like a raccoon, you know? I know a lot of people really go low when they smoke out their lower lash line, but I don't like to go too low cause I feel like I look like a raccoon, so but I'm just gonna add some of this purple underneath that blue. And hopefully it won't look so crazy. So 
that's a little bit better it has that smoky look but see this side the blue has it looks a little bit greenish blue to me but this side if I feel like the purple made it look a little more blue blue okay so now that I got my lower lash line uh, smoked out now it's time to go and try out this new wet and wild uh, mascara well new to me and this one is the mega length okay and so it has one of those teeny tiny skinny <laughs> skinny skinny wands and I don't know I typically don't like these <laughs> so, so let's see let's see it's probably because I like to add fullness as well as length you know not just length so that's probably why I don't really care for these type of wands the like plastic long the teeny tiny plastic ones but if it says it's supposed to add length we'll see it's hard to see because of course I have on dark eyeshadow today but if I turn to the side yeah you can definitely see it's doing something okay I don't feel like it gave me like tremendously long lashes of course because my lashes are short as it is but I do feel like it made them look nice <laughs> it made them look nice but yeah I don't feel like I have mega length on my lashes or anything like that these lashes look longer than these lashes because naturally they are so you know I can only do so much when it comes to this side as much as I build them up but I like the mascara I just don't feel like it gave me any miraculous amount of length on my lashes for sure yeah I don't feel that okay you guys so finally it's time for me to try out this unlocked lip paint from Fenty now this is some seriously bright pink lipstick but we gonna do this today y'all let's <laughs> see what happens okay that's bright <laughs> Yes, that is bright. That's all I can say is it looks exactly like it does in the bottle, you guys. It is super duper bright. Oh my goodness. It's pretty though. Isn't it pretty? It's pretty. Even though it's super bright, it's, it's still pretty. I like it. So that's it, you guys. This is, you know what? Hold on, let me put my earrings on. Let me complete this look, okay? Okay, there we go. Now I got my hoops on. My look is complete. Okay, I, you know what? I I feel like a rainbow today. Okay, I feel like a little bag of Skittles. <laughs> I do. I feel like a little bag of Skittles up in here. Okay, because my eyes are just like totally rainbowed out, sunset vibe up in here. Okay, and my lips already fancy okay but I like everything I like the foundation I like the powder I like the eyeshadow palette of course the Fenty lipstick you know that's on and popping even this little rose rose uh, spray stuff let me go ahead and spray a little more and set my face well that wasn't a little <laughs> <laughs> but it smells good. I like feeling stuff, you know, sprayed on my face. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, I like everything. Even the bronzer, even though it's like kind of light, like super light. And it just did like a very slight hint of bronzing. I like it because on those days when I don't want to just go crazy and look like a chocolate bonbon, I can use this and just add a little dimension to my face and really like it you know so I like it the elf highlighter uh hello uh hello <laughs> the highlighter is your popping got my I shouldn't have put it on my forehead because it got my forehead just like beaming from the moon okay but yeah I feel like a little bag of skittles y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think I know it's a long video sorry my apologies I'm gonna try to edit it as much as possible but 
let me know what you guys think about all the products that I tried out how you feel about them if you think they work for me if you think I look crazy whatever let me know but I'm kind of feeling it I'm kind of feeling it even the lips even though the lips is like shabow I'm feeling it because you know the Fenty lip paint is extremely comfortable I, it doesn't even feel like I have anything on my lips and the colors are just super bold bright opaque and beautiful so I think the purple one would look really good with this look as well because since my lid is purple the purple Fenty lipstick would look nice but anyway enough of that you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me watching my video and helping me try out all of this new stuff <laughs> So I will see you on the next one. Toodles!